Hello everyone, so welcome back to another Wednesday Talks on the mainframe. So this time it is on the mainframe modernization. So I'll be going to give you an overview of what is mainframe modernization and uh, I know uh, you might be hearing this word a lot from past two to three years uh, and also many of the subscribers have asked me about uh, why you, you are posting always like Cobalt ACL DB2 concept, why can't you tell more about the mainframe modernization which is a ongoing thing that is happening in the market, right? Okay, uh, so yeah, I couldn't upload much, so just wanted to add this uh, now, okay? So without wasting any time, let me get started. So mainframe modernization, uh, before I jump on to the actual concept of mainframe modernization, let's talk about the modernization. The general term of modernization uh, is not, uh, refers to the process of, uh, I can say like improving or uh, updating a product or it can be a system or uh, it can be a technology uh, to take the advantage of latest advancement to make it more efficient, effective and competitive, right? Uh, this can involve upgrading existing systems or technologies or I in fact sometimes it can we can replace them with the new or modern alternatives right so that's uh, about uh, the modernization okay so what is uh, mainframe modernization here so the mainframe modernization refers uh, to the process of updating uh, and transforming uh, the legacy mainframe systems to a modern and uh, cost-effective technologies, right? So that's the mainframe modernization. Uh, to give you a simple example here, so sorry, I may take, uh, I'll give you a simple example. So before uh, I go much more details into this, so let's take an example. Um, you have a house, so where you are staying today, so that house being constructed, let's take a, let's think like uh, constructed 40 years back, where in that family, your grandfather has stayed and then your father has stayed and now you are staying with your family and kids, right? So within the same house from the 40 years, right? So now in the market, so you have seen many modular houses or in the very, uh, with good infrastructure and everything the, the different houses has been built right so you have two options one is to demolish the house and reconstruct and other is uh, just to modernize by making uh, some adjustment to the existing home right which one you would choose is your choice right so it all starts with your plan like what you want to do how do you want to do what are the changes to be done so do I need to replace a new windows, new doors? Do I need to repaint the entire house? Do I need to change the gate? Do I need to have a more spacious hall and the kitchen need to be replaced? So all this, right? So uh, everything. So you want, a, you want a, a look and feel of the house to be everything to be new, right? Or you, you have another option. So just to reconstruct right so so that's where that's what the modernization is and the same thing is happening in the IT world today right so uh, talking about this mainframe modernization uh, here what is happening is here uh, people are trying to migrate the aging mainframe computer system to a new or I can say like more advanced technology platform this process may often involve, when we are doing this process, it will involve transferring of data application and uh, the business process from old mainframe environment to a new uh, system. So we have Z14, I mean Z15, so if someone is using the older version so they can migrate uh, to a new uh, uh, mainframe system which supports uh, uh, blockchain, AI and all the features, right? Okay, so new system that offers improved performance, uh, improved performance, scalability, and cost effectiveness, right? And uh, this transformation uh, can involve variety of technologies and approaches. 
that can be like including virtualization, cloud computing, and uh, the use of modern software development methodologies and uh, uh, tools. So all these can be helpful for the mainframe modernization. The main goal is to modernize the technology infrastructure and improve the overall efficiency and the agility of the organization. And which can all obviously there would be a cost involved, but at the, say, at the long run, so it would be helping in the reducing the cost and increasing the whatever the uh, return on investment, right? Uh, it's not an easy task. It's it's not an easy task. It's a very complex process that requires careful planning, coordination from multiple teams, departments, third-party vendors, many things to be done. And thorough understanding of current mainframe system, so like how it is, and uh, the new technology platforms where w which a organization want to consider for their transformation, and uh, the right approaches, resource, technology, talent, all these uh, uh, things will Im uh, involve. So once it is planned, so they can achieve the significant be benefit, like including improved business process, increased efficiency, I can say, and uh, the reduced cost, obviously, right? So this is about the mainframe modernization. But what is the goal of this, right? The main goal is to modernize the architecture and improve the scalability and enhance uh, functionality uh, while uh, maintaining the stability and reliability of the mainframe system, right? The main goal of the mainframe modernization is to upgrade the existing mainframe system so that they are better suited to meet the current and future needs of the organization, right? Uh, many mainframe systems, uh, mainframe systems are critical components of uh, many organization. They often uh, handle large amount of sensitive data and the mission critical applications, right? Uh, then it is important to maintain their stability and the reliability which also modernizes the technology to ensure that they are able to keep the pace with uh, changing business requirement and uh, technology advancement. And the main objective of the mainframe modernization can be like, uh, I can say like uh, if we have to summarize, so, so we can modernize the arch architecture, right? So when I, when I say exactly about the modernizing the architecture, what exactly that mean? This involves like updating the technology infrastructure of the mainframe system to make them more uh, flexible, scalable and efficient. Okay. And uh, uh, scalability, when, when I talk about the scalability, this involves ensuring that the mainframe systems are able to handle increasing amount of data and transactions without slowing down or becoming unstable. This can be achieved uh, improving the performance and scalability of the technology infrastructure and the underlying hardware. So I know you might be telling, uh, you might be thinking like mainframes are like never slow and they, they are fast and uh, uh, it's been running from decades, right? So yes, I do accept that. So but uh talking about uh, the scalability in a more advanced way okay yeah so enhancing the functionality this involves adding new features and uh, capabilities of to the mainframe systems that can help to improve the overall efficiency and effectiveness of the organization right so this can like uh, i can say like this can include like new software applications integrating with other systems and the adoption of modern software development methodology right so, so this that's the main goal that uh, mainframe modernization would improve, and uh, what typically the mainframe modernization process is like. So, the the different process that they undergo is like uh, they have an option like the you can go for re-platforming, either you can go for re-hosting, re-architecting, re-engineering. Do you remember just now when I started this? Uh, I'll give an example of uh, reconstructing the home right so you have a 40 years old home so what you want to do so you have all these options so either you can re-platform re-hosting re-architecting or re-engineering the things right exactly the same thing happens here right so when you're talking about the technology modernization so we are trying to do the same thing right so re uh, when, when we talk about the re-platforming so what 
uh, what, uh, what do we mean by replatforming here in the technology? Replatforming uh, refers to the process of migrating the existing application and data from one technology platform to another right so we are migrating the existing application and data from one technology platform to another uh, while maintaining uh, the functionality and data structure of the legacy system mm. I can say like this is a strategy. Uh, this strategy is often used when organization wants to take advantage of a newer technology that offered uh, that offers improved performance, okay, uh, for scalability and uh, security, obviously. So this is about the uh, replatforming, right? So when I say replatforming, so we are completely uh, migrating, migrating application and data from one technology platform to another one, okay. And let's talk about the rehosting. So what do you mean by rehosting? Rehosting involves moving the existing application and data from one hardware platform to another without making significant changes to the software or data structure. Okay, this strategy can be used to improve the performance, scalability and availability of the legacy system. Uh, the next is re-architecting. So re-architecting involves like changing the underlying architecture of the legacy system to improve the performance, scalability and uh, security of the technology infrastructure. And uh, this can include like upgrading the hardware or uh, adopting to new software technologies and modernizing the data structures. Right. Then what about re-engineering? And re-engineering, it can be like more comprehensive strategy, I can say, uh, that involves making significant changes to the existing system, including the software, data structures, architecture. Uh, this strategy typically used when uh, an organization want to fundamentally transform the way its system works and uh, in order to take advantage of the new technology capabilities. This is like the complete re-engineering. So, it depends on the organization what they want to do okay so each of these strategies or the process that is involved it has its own benefits and challenges and the organization definitely will be very careful considering the specific needs and requirement when dec deciding which strategy uh, they wanted to go so when if you are if you are in a project working on the mainframe modernization either of these choices they would have taken either it either they are trying to re-platform the existing system or they want to, they are trying to re-host it or they are trying to re-architecting or they may be doing some re-engineering okay so these are the typical process that involved and uh, the main objective of the modernization is for as i said uh, it's improving the efficiency scalability leveraging the modern technology reducing the operational cost and increasing the uh, uh innovation right so this is all about the uh yeah right uh, main, main uh what happens like uh mainframe modernization as i said like it's a critical process uh, that involves uh uh critical process of organization that rely mainly on the mainframe system to support their critical business process and application right so by leveraging all these modern technologies by reducing the operational cost increasing innovation may mainframe organization can help organization to improve the overall efficiency uh, scalability and uh, the operation cost And uh, talking about the technologies used for mainframe modernization like uh, cloud plat cloud computing, virtualization, uh, DevOps, microservices, artificial intelligence and machine learning, and uh, a blockchain, right? So these are the several technologies that are commonly used in mainframe modernization to upgrade their legacy mainframe system to a more modern technology. Uh, I mean, these are the options that are available and it's the it's uh, the organization strategy or option or process they which one to go for it okay i'll just give you a, a brief idea about what what are all these uh, uh, concepts okay so cloud computing as you all know like uh, cloud computing is a key technology in mainframe uh, organization as it enables organization to move their mainframe applications and data to cloud-based infrastructure which can offer improved performance scalability and security 
virtualization uh, is another technology i mean we have we already have the virtualization concept on the mainframe but according apart from zvm so we have like vmware hyper v uh, can be used to virtualize mainframe applications and uh, data make it easier and manage okay devops and devops is another uh, software developing approach that emphasizes collaboration between development and uh, operations teams nowadays you might be hearing about dev sec op and then, then there is a security that is also being added okay and is becoming increasingly important uh, in the mainframe modernization efforts as it helps the organization to streamline the development and deployment applications right then talking about the microservices architecture so the microservices is a modern software design pattern uh, that enables organization to break down uh, monolithic uh, applications into smaller independent components uh, making it easier to manage maintain and uh, scale the technology infrastructure and then talking about the artificial intelligence and machine learning so this is the trend i can say that's going now artificial intelligence everyone's talking about this and i know it's been talking from years so uh, these are becoming increasingly important in mainstream modernization as they help organization to automate manual tasks improve the accuracy of uh, business decisions and drive new business opportunities talking about the blockchain technology uh, is a secured i can say like a blockchain technology is a secure decentralized ledger that can be used used to improve the transparency and reliability of the business process and uh, this is becoming increasingly important uh, as that uh, to drive the new business opportunities i can say okay so these are the typical uh, uh, technologies that are used in a uh, mainframe modernization okay uh, i i think this is what i would like to cover for today so maybe some other week i would uh, expand more in detail about the mainframe modernization like what are the tools that they are using and uh, we'll talk more in detail about this so that's it for this week uh, thank you so much for everyone uh, for watching this video and as always if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe thank you